Hello there everyone. Let's check out this example together. In this example, a charged particle in, the, uh, in here it's an electron that it goes through within vicinity of the magnetic field and because of that it bends its trajectory into a circular, circular motion and we need to find basically the radius of this uh, circular trajectory. All right, let's recap a little bit what we learned before. If we have a charge Q, and Q0 is a test charge that is positive, that is just like to recap a little bit, and it goes through this magnetic field to the right. This is the right for me here, and this is inside the page or inside the screen. So right for the velocity, this is the magnetic field direction, then the force will be up, okay? The force will be up as soon as the charge goes into the magnetic field, it's gonna move up, and because now the force also changes direction this way, as we learned before, the, this charge can be made to go into a perfect circle if we need to. We can tune the magnetic field, the charge, the velocity, and it's going to go through into a circle. And this circle will have a radius r. We know there is a competition between two forces that makes the circle perfect. One is the centrifugal force that tries to the centrifugal force that tries to push the charge out of the circle and away from it perpendicular to the to the circumference of the circle and there's another force that pushes pushes the charge inwards and this force is the magnetic field force if these two forces are equal then you are going to form a nice circular path fb which is equal to q v times b again times sine theta but theta is 90 degrees because everything is perpendicular and the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field directions are perpendicular which is 90 degrees sine 90 is 1 fc here is what is the mass times the velocity squared divided by the radius okay now the, ma the square of the velocity the, with the velocity on the left hand side goes away and if, if we want to write the radius we can just rearrange the equation we find the radius is equal to m times the velocity divided by the charge uh, multiplied by the magnetic field in the denominator so this is actually the equation that we need to use okay to find r for this electron all right, let's look at it. Do we have the mass of the electron? Yes, that's given. Do we have the charge of the electron? Yes, that's given. Uh, do we have the B, the magnetic field? Yes. We, are, we don't have the velocity of the electron, and we need to find the radius. Okay, so we need to use another equation to find the velocity. Okay, let's read the problem again. So this electron is accelerated from rest. So its kinetic energy at the beginning is zero, and it then moves because of the potential difference. So the potential difference gives the charge, which is an electron in our case, a big push to end up with a certain kinetic energy. So that's how the equation of energy works. The, all the potential energy is changed into the kinetic energy because the electron was accelerated from rest. Okay? Now, look, this is V for the voltage. Look how big that is. And this is V for the velocity. It's, it's small, lower case. Okay? So now, Q is the charge of the electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to minus 19. And the voltage difference is 300. And that should be equal one half times the mass of the electron 9.11 times 10 to minus 31 kilogram and the velocity is the only thing that is unknown all right solving for the velocity v that will give us an answer of 1.03 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second. And that's a huge, huge velocity. But that's okay. It's an electron. They can go that fast if, if needed. All right. So now we found the velocity. We take it and plug it here. So I'm going to re re rewrite this equation here again. Mass times the velocity divided by Q. 
Q times B. So I'm going to plug in the numbers. The mass is 9.11 times 10 to minus 31 times the velocity which we found from here 1.03 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second and that's divided by Q which is 1.6 times 10 to minus 19 notice we did not put the minus sign for the charge of the electron because we care about its its value times the magnetic field which is 3 and 3 Tesla is a huge magnetic field running the calculations on the calculator we can get that R is equal to 1.95 times 10 to minus 5 meter and that's it for this problem thank you very much